Lo-Fi Power Sack coming at you. Michael Pickering here talking about our famous question, what's going on in the world today? And today, we're doing a recap, a revisit, an evaluation of the proclamation that is the we that we be and this thing that we do. Today, we're doing a content analysis of ourselves to see just what we've been talking about lately. That's right. We've been going on with season five for a month and a half now. And I think it's time we see exactly what we've been saying in that lo-fi global. So coming at you, a list of ourselves. Let's cue a little music for us while we do our thing. A little lo-fi poli original. Let the mood take us. Now let's go. We started out this season with talking about violence against Muslims in India. And then the U.S. not wanting to give the WHO more power. Turkey prosecuting journalists. Venezuela's effort to oust President Maduro. A military coup in Burkina Faso. Tensions with Russia and the West over Ukraine. And all that was on January 24th, back on episode one of this season. Then we talked about Iran arresting people for prank videos on social media. We talked about China streaming services censoring the movie Fight Club. We talked about El Salvador and the IMF arguing over Bitcoin. Indonesia moving the capital. Mexico and remittance. Thailand and an oil spill. Peru and an oil spill. The UAE and Israel meeting up for talks. North Korea and missiles. Sudan protest. Post-military coup. We talked about Aung San Suu Kyi slash Myanmar military coup. We talked fast fashion in Chile and where it all ends up going. We talked about India's version of Twitter going big. Ecuador and China on debt restructuring. Argentina and China on the One Belt and Road initiative. Iran willing to talk to Saudi Arabia. Tunisia's president takes democracy down. The International Space Station getting old. And the commercialization of space. Mauritius wanting their islands back from the UK. The Benin City Massacre and giving art back to Africa. Guinea-Bissau's failed revolution? Question mark? Natural disasters in Madagascar, sadly not a question mark there. The UN says Uganda owes money to the DRC. The five freest countries in Latin America, freer than that place north of Mexico and south of Canada. The ex-president of Honduras being arrested. Kuwait changing a transgender law. Ethiopia starts up their dam. Iran's parliament passes law on nuclear deal requirements. And Italy's top court throws away petition for weed legalization. We also talked about Russia attack on Ukraine. UN plastic agreement. UN General Assembly voting on Russia and Ukraine. The Arab Spring and Libya's government slash government's crisis. And how it may lead to civil war. We talked about Somalia and horse racing, South Korea and campaign promises of presidential candidates. And top 10s this season? Oh, we started out with the top 10 global events to watch 2022, the top 10 countries by GDP 2021, the top 10 countries by GDP per capita 2021, the top 10 countries by Genie in 2021, and top 10 countries by HDI 2021, and 100 global news stories, content analysis of international news. And there you have it, a breakdown of our conversation of what's going on in the world today. But as with any list, let's dig a little deeper and let's look at the data. So our time frame here, a month and two weeks. Our episode count for just the topics I listed, 14 episodes, though 20 total counting today. Country count, over 45 countries in the past month and a half. Not counting all the ones we talked about on Good News Fridays or Good News Endings for the shows on Mondays, nor counting the ones we talked about on Lo-Fi Global Trivia, nor counting the countries we listed in our top 10 list. So, in reality, we're much higher than 45 countries. But let's stick with that number because it represents the main stories we talked about. Now, if you average out the number of countries we've covered by the number of days Season 5 has been on the air, we're averaging a new country every day. Season 5 has been on the air for about 45 days, and we've covered about 45 countries. But the reality is, that average is biasedly low, because we don't air episodes every day on those 45 days. But still, there you have it. You know, we've talked about, at the very least, one-fourth of the countries in the world. 25%. About 45 countries so far in that lo-fi global news segment. And now... We have to turn back to that question we always ask with every list. Does this list really even matter? Question mark? And the short answer is, for us, for the we that we be and what we're trying to do here, it most certainly matters. You see, how can we know how we're doing at answering our famous question, what's going on in the world today, if we're not willing to also be self-critical 
and do some self-reflection? How can we know how far we're reaching if we don't look at the data, the countries that we've been talking about? And the simple answer is we can't. This list is important because it informs us of who we are. This list is important because it tells us what agenda we've been setting. This list is important because it shows us our own bias. And we most certainly all have bias. But you see, there's nothing inherently wrong with being biased. And in fact, it's inescapable. And in fact, it's more worrying to hear someone say they're completely unbiased. Because we should all see that statement is inherently biased. We will always be biased. Fact. We will always think some things are more important than others. Fact. We will always miss some things going on around the world. Fact. But by taking the time to look at ourselves and what we've done, well, that allows us to improve on ourselves. It helps inform us on where we've been so we can better figure out where we're going. And that, my friend, stands true in all aspects of life. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Check out lofipolysci.com, the music, the episodes, the blogs, the letters, the art. Add us on all the socials. Hit us up, people. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you soon, Lo-Fi listeners. Pickering, signing off. A little behind the scenes for all you listeners that stuck around. I see you out there. I hear you. Come back tomorrow. I got a special one just for you.